guys, this is Brian, aka Texas Treasures, and today I'm bringing, bringing you my weekly What Sold video. These are items that have sold for me on the over the past week on eBay, Poshmark, and sometimes other sites. Um, I find these items at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, auctions, storage units, um, you name it, I find it, and I sell them online for profit. And I make these videos to help you find things that you can sell for good profit too. So if you like this type of content and if you find it helpful, make sure you give me a thumbs up. That helps out my video. Hit the red subscribe button below and then also comment. Tell me what are your finds this week? What are your sales that you've sold for good money? Also, make sure you stick around to the very end because I start at the lowest priced item that sold and I finish at the highest price and then I kind of give a recap of the week. All right, first off, we have um, a DVD. Well, we probably know at this point that everyone is stuck inside and they're bored. So lots of um, movies are being bought. Lots of games are being bought. So if you have old movies, old games, or even if they're new, get them listed and get them sold. I picked this up at, a, at the last storage auction unit that I purchased. So my cost of goods was about a dollar. This is uh, DVD Norbert, hysterically funny with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Paid a dollar, sold for eight eighty four on eBay, leaving me a profit of five dollars. And the good thing about DVDs, video games, they're quick and easy to list. Only takes a couple minutes. All right. Um, next up, we have some more Nike headbands from another storage unit I purchased a while back. These. These sold for $13.96, paid about a dollar for them, leaving me a profit of $10.18. And these sell a couple of times a week on average, so they're a slow, steady seller, which is the next ones also, just a different colorway. These are the um, red and silver swoosh headbands. These sold for $14.74 on eBay. Same thing, paid about a dollar, leaving me a profit of 10 in change. There we go. Here's a different one, D different colorways. Uh, more. This is more of the Michigan colorway, the the navy blue with the gold. Um, these actually sold on Poshmark. Paid a dollar, sold for fifteen, profit of eleven. Obviously, Nike does really well. I don't really source clothing much anymore unless it's something that really just pops out at me. Um, but I've had these pair of jeans for about a year. I picked these up at a garage sale about a year ago for, I think I paid a buck fifty. They finally sold on Poshmark for $17, leaving me a profit of $12.10. These are a pair of area jeans. They got, got the flare, that's the, the leg right here, the leg, the cuff. Um, stretch, size 11 slash 12. And as you can see, when you're doing clothing, you do want to put the measurements in here, especially on the women's clothing. That'll save you a lot of time going out and answering questions from potential buyers um, wanting these measurements. So go ahead and get them in there if you're doing clothing. All right. Now this right here, here's a good tip. Um, a lot of people are saying, well, I can't source. And I get it. All right. It is a little bit more challenging. But if you, if you go on Facebook Marketplace and you type in free, you'll be surprised at the things people are giving away for free. They're cleaning out their garages. They're cleaning out their houses. They're bored. They've got time on their hands. <clears throat> the Goodwill bins are overflowing, or maybe some of them aren't taking donations right now. So they're putting this stuff curbside, and then they're putting ads in Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, saying free. And this right here was an example um, about a month ago, probably someone was giving away free toys, uh, free toys in my actually in the city I live in, the town I live in. So I went and picked these up. This was one of the items that was free. So I paid zero dollars, uh, sold for $17.91 on eBay. That includes shipping, a profit of $14.52. This is a Wild Republic Crocodile Alligator Green Plush, nice and soft toy. Stuffed animal, 24 inches long, and um, yeah, it was it was a really good shape. Still had the original tags on it, and I guess they just got tired. The kids got tired of playing with it. And mommy or daddy decided let's get rid of it, and here I come, pick it up and sell it. So there are ways to make money even if you don't have any capital. You can start off 
with a free section if you're trying to get started, build you some capital, and then you can start moving to other ways to source in addition. Okay, as I was talking about games, um, games are really flying off the shelves right now. This is a chess checkers backgammon set. It has all the different games in one. <clears throat> it's new sealed in box. I won this on an online auction, actually. <clears throat> Paid about a dollar thirty for it. It was in a lot of other games. I was like, that's a no-brainer right now. Um, it sold for $17.02 with shipping, leaving me a profit of $10.60. So somebody got this, they're playing chess, they're playing checkers, they're playing backgammon, and they're keeping themselves busy. It's a good thing. Okay. Mm. So, <clears throat> next up we have uh, the NIV, uh, which is the version Rainbow. They call it Rainbow because inside the scripture, um, different sections have different colors and they're color coded. So it's, you've got all these bright colors. Rainbow Study Bible, it's a King James Version, Bold Line Edition, black color refers to the um, the cover. This is a black leather cover. And this, and it, you see the condition is only acceptable like this. Um, this Bible had a lot of, lot of wear. It was still fine. You could still read it. There were no tears or anything. But he, more heavy wear than, than a good version or a good condition so don't oversell your item you're just going to upset your buyer be honest if anything put it a notch below what you think it really is and because people will still buy it even at acceptable this this sold now this was in a giant lot of books that i bought at an, an estate sale recently uh, an online estate sale don't worry it's safe i'll purchase online and then they do pickups by appointment um it had over probably about 300 books and man there are some good ones in there i'm probably gonna make a video about one of the books that i found in there a very rare book <clears throat> so check back later for that anyway so the cost of goods was only about 30 cents on this it sold for 17.54 with shipping leaving me a profit of 13.91 so books books do well bibles religious books non-fiction um, you can sell some fiction too, especially hardcover bestsellers that are first edition. The first edition is really important. Okay, next up we have a Star Trek USS Enterprise, and I'm probably going to butcher this. Um, Alts Graph, which is the company that makes it. Um, vintage coffee mug dating back to 1993. This I picked up also at a, um, an online auction. This was a, in a lot of coffee items. And Star Trek is collectible. And this brand right here, which you can, you can see on the bottom of the cup, this is a good brand to look for, by the way, the, the false crop. Um, now, something else. And look, condition is used. Uh, pan, handle appears to have been repaired on the mug. See pics. So I'll put that in there because if you look at the handle, it's it's been broken in a couple places here. And they use some super glue or gorilla glue or some type of glue to glue this back together. So even with that condition being noted, and I'm not trying to hide it, it's still sold for $19.94, including shipping. Um, paid about a dollar for it, leaving me a profit of $13.54. Okay, now these shoes probably I would all right, as we resell and become better at reselling um our knowledge grows and these are a pair of shoes i probably wouldn't pick up again these are a pair of men's brown stacy adams um stacy adams is just not that desirable the shoes are in excellent condition slip on dress loafers shoes leather and modern designer size 12. notice i'm stuffing all those keywords to help people find this item and this so um uh, well, first of all, I paid $6 for it. I think it was a thrift store. It's been a while back. I paid $6 for this at a thrift store. Sold for $21.27. Um, I think I had free shipping on this, trying to get it moved. And it only left me a profit of $7.39. But I'm still doubling my money. But um, I guess I just have higher standards at this point. But Stacy Adams is not the greatest brand to resell, but it's still sold. 
Okay, and as you can see, I'm kind of moving more into the hard goods. I'm enjoying the hard goods, the vintage, the antique, the collectible. That's a direction I want to go into as a reseller. And here we have a vintage um, clear glass. It's real heavy. Apple shaped. Right? It makes me think of the song Apple Bottom Jeans. Boots with the fruit. Right. <laughs> Apple shaped uh, fruit dessert bowl. And this was also in a lot of, what was this? They had an apple lot. It has, has some plates, some um, serving ware, which I don't even have all that stuff listed yet. I got to get that listed. Anyway, I paid about a dollar for it with shipping included. It sold for $38.94, leaving me a profit of $27.42. So this unusual glassware. And it sold pretty quickly within a week. Okay, once again, we have another game selling. Sticking with that premise that games are very desirable right now. This is a 221B, that's the address, Baker Street game, Time Machine Edition, um, second edition sealed game set. This is new, a new sealed game. I picked this up last summer at a garage sale. This lady had had tons of new sealed games she was getting rid of that used to be her son's i think she was trying to raise some, a little bit of money um i did a lot purchase where i said hey i put them all together and she she wanted x amount per item i was able to negotiate and that's a good tactic if you get a lot of items together get a lot of items it gives you more leverage as a as a buyer so I, they average out costing me about five dollars each this one sold for $28.24 with shipping, leaving me a profit of $14.74. And I've almost sold all of those games. I only have a couple. And a matter of fact, one sold last night. That's that's not on this video yet. So you'll probably see that next week. So games are good right now. And there's my kitty, Penny. What's up, Penny? So here, keeping me company. All right. Next up, we have some shoes. A pair of Adidas men's. Canadia trail running shoes, blue striped low top with laces, and then I've got the Adidas um, style number there. The G starts with a G. Um, pretty cool shoes, trail shoes. If they were my size, I'd probably keep them because I love to go hiking. And I think tomorrow, by the way, I think I'm gonna. I need to get my fitness going. I think I'm gonna start nice, slow, and easy, and start a running program myself. It's been a while since I've been running. But I need to uh, spend a little bit of time on self-care and me. But anyway, I paid $4 for these. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I do remember. Yeah, these were from a garage sale. I paid $4 for these. They sold for $29.95, including shipping, leaving me a profit of $17.45. Okay, next up, we got another pair of shoes. And as you can see, shoes can bring you pretty decent money. Here we have a, some New Balance 860. These are women's running shoes. Um, they're white, mesh, low, mesh lace-up low tops, and there's the New Balance model number. These are size eight women's, European size 39. Paid six for these. I believe these were from a, um, a thrift store. They sold for $30.24, giving me a profit of $16.72. So you can see a lot of people are wanting to go running, go walking, go hiking, um, to let off some energy and some steam okay next up as we're moving on up by the way if you haven't liked the video please give me a thumbs up it really helps my video out and thanks for watching by the way um we have a puzzle my wife um and my daughters built a puzzle last week a 750 piece puzzle um and they spent like i don't know about a day day and a half building it and so people that like puzzles right now is a great time to build puzzles as a matter of fact, I ordered her a Frida Kahlo puzzle because she loves um, like Mexican culture, Mexican art. And so I'm waiting for that to come in for her. So not only am I selling, I'm also buying. And I do try to buy and support eBay or Poshmark since those are the platforms that help me out. So try to help out those local sellers um, or sellers on the platforms that you sell on. Anyway, this is cool. This is a Disney Mosaic Mickey Mouse photo mosaic puzzle 1000 pieces that's a big puzzle um it is complete but the box once again noting the condition does have a small tear right here in the left corner make sure you note that um paid three dollars picked this up at a thrift store a while back 
sold for $32.95 with shipping, leaving a profit of $21.45. Mickey, Disney, <clears throat> obviously there's a big fan base for that. So if you see any of this stuff and then you combine it with a puzzle, a game, it's a no-brainer. And that was in used condition. <clears throat> All right. Um, next up. And actually, I think I got two of these back to back because <clears throat> I had a lot of these. I picked these up in my Nike storage unit. It's filled with new, brand new Nikes. Um, and this style has been really popular. I've only got a couple left. I did get a couple returned uh, for they were the wrong size. So they returned and then purchased the correct size. So I guess they were a little off on their sizing. Anyway, these are Nike Women's Air Trainers Escape Mules. Um, very rare. Like I think I'm the only, when I listed these, I was the only seller that had these, especially in new condition. <clears throat> There's the model number right there. Paid about a dollar. <clears throat> Sorry, allergies are <clears throat> rough out here in Texas right now. They sold for $48.95, including shipping, leaving me a profit of $37.73. Yep, same thing. This one sold for a little bit more. I think it was a different size. Um, or I might even mix them up pictures, but I know two of these sold like the same day to two different customers. Same thing, paid a dollar, sold for $52.85, profiting $43 and change. All right. Here, <clears throat> goodness, excuse me. This was a garage sale pickup. I remember this was a really good garage sale. Sometimes you'll come across a garage sale and it's like it's just loaded with great stuff. I remember at this garage sale, um, these two sisters, I, I guess they're, I guess they were liquidating their mother's stuff um, for her. And here, I guess this was dad's maybe. It's a pair of Red Wing uh, cowboy boots. These, I believe these were even vintage. <clears throat> and Red Wing is a really popular brand of boots. So um, these are really cool. I love selling boots here in Texas. We come across a lot of them. I did, and these were really, I mean, they, they, these were used well, <clears throat> used quite a bit. So I'll put a little leather conditioner. It did bring them back to life quite a bit. I should have taken a before and after picture. Um, and these end up selling for $55 on Poshmark, leaving me a profit of $39. And Poshmark shoes sell really well on Poshmark. <clears throat> All right. Now, if you don't know about car radios, car radios are definitely a thing to look out for. Um, here we have a, let me think. Yeah, this was a garage sale find. I paid $4 for this. And you can look up the model number, the part number. This this is a, this radio fits on a 78 to 87 Chevy truck, Suburban, Blazer, Corvette. So it fit a, quite a few of different cars in, at that time. And a lot of times people, uh, you know, they, they're they buying these cars, they're restoring them. Maybe it's missing a radio. Maybe the radio didn't work properly on it. And so I paid $4 for this. And it sold for $124.32 on eBay. And I profited over $100 on that. So car radios are a good thing to look for. You can test them. Um, there's ways to do it. But what I, what I do is, to be honest, I mean, I offer free returns. And I would say 80, no, probably 90% of the time the radio works. So I send it to them. If for some reason there's a problem, I'll, I'll take care of it. I'll take the return. Um, and that way they're not out any money. And and then I'm able to make money without testing it. So um, I think that's a good way to go. But you could also test it and get your whole set up for that. But um, it's a little bit more complicated to do that. It takes more time. And time is money. All right, so this week we had 19 one-offs sold. Um, sales are picking up. Paid about $40 for those. They sold for $570 and change. Average sale price of each item was about $30. Giving me a profit of $436 on the one-offs, 77% margin. This week I've been listing a lot. I've got 663 items listed. <clears throat> now, I think I'm going to add this. This is more of just for me you know, to keep track of my growth. And let me see, two weeks ago, right here on this, this is from eBay Seller Hub. Two weeks ago on April 12th, I joined, um, um, if you want, follow, if you want to see a great channel, check out Daily Refinement on YouTube. Great channel. A guy, Chris, um, he has a Patreon group 
And for $12 a month, you can join this Patreon group. And every morning, my time is 8 a.m., we have an accountability call. And there's usually 15 to 20 people, including Chris, on that call. And we, we talk about what are we working on, what are our goals, we brainstorm, we problem solve. And um, since I've joined that, I don't know, it's just really motivated me. I've, I've set listing goals of at least four hours a day, six days a week. I do take Sundays off. Um, and then all the nuggets I've gained from that, the information for that group, it's amazing. It's a really good group. But anyway, I, I hit a milestone for for the past 31 days, the, the past month on eBay, I finally broke the $3,000 mark. So that's a milestone for me. So I'm like, yay. And those little milestones, and I, I know people make way more than that. Um, and, some, and some people make way less, and that's fine wherever you're at. The whole point is to get better, right? But for me, that's a big milestone, and that, that motivates me. So next, I'm, I'm shooting for 4000 But what I like looking at this chart um, you see the direct correlation before this, I wasn't listing as regularly and you see several days where there were no sales. I mean, I was having some sales, but some days there were none. But right here, once I started listing regularly, um, there hasn't been a, a day since April 12th without at least a sell. So that's really helped me out. And you can see my numbers below. I'm up <clears throat> right at 90% over the past month. And my seven-day sales are even are even better. If you if you extrapolate that, that's on pace for about forty eight hundred, almost five thousand. And last ninety are creeping up too. So what I would recommend um, get, set set some goals. Maybe get some accountability. Join an accountability group, or at least get some other person that can hold you accountable. Get your listings up. Brainstorm some ideas off of each other. Stay positive. People are buying right now, so list, 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 um, and that will definitely increase your sales. So I hope this video helped you. If you did, if you haven't already, give me the thumbs up. If you like this type of content, hit the red subscribe button down below. You can hit the little bell to be notified when new videos are released. I am also doing daily um, live broadcast, usually about between 3.30 to 4 p.m. Central Time. As I'm wrapping up my, my listing and my um, reselling day, kind of rehash what's been going on that day, any new news. So um, check out those live shows. I'm willing to take guests on there. Um, Clay's Closet usually joins me on that. So that's a way you can ask some questions if you've got any questions of me. Um, so anyway, hope you like this video. Stay safe out there. Happy sourcing. Texas Treasures is out. Peace.